What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Cosmic Wonder. I'm Warren Thompson, and Avengers Secret Wars actually isn't that far away. Phase 4 is now complete, and we're about to jump into Phase 5 in February with Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantumania, which is going to kick off the Kang Dynasty and Avengers Secret Wars. The way everything has been right now and laid out in front of us, it does look like Phase 5 and Phase 6 are going to be better for the Marvel Cinematic Universe than Phase 4 was. Although Phase 4 did give us some amazing projects, a lot of fans are really looking forward to phase five and then phase six. Kang the Conqueror is surely going to be a fantastic villain, especially with Jonathan Majors playing him. He's already done an amazing job with the character as he who remains in Loki. And so far, the way he has portrayed Kang in the Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania trailers has been fantastic. So certainly, the next two phases and the next handful of years are going to be fantastic. However, I do believe something even more exciting awaits after. And that is the age of the Fantastic Four and the X-Men. With villains like Galactus, Doctor Doom, Magneto, Annihilus, so many classic heroes and villains are going to be coming to the MCU and the MCU is going to completely change after Phase 6. So I have a theory of how Phase 6 is going to end and set up Phase 7. And I particularly think that this is going to happen either in the post credit scene or at the very end of Secret Wars after the final battle has already taken place and the Avengers save the universe because let's face it, that's probably what's going to happen. Now, Marvel could hit us with a curveball and kind of reset everything, but even that is probably going to be considered a victory for the Avengers, considering the fact that the alternative is Kang ruling the entire multiverse. So the question is, how exactly will the Kang Dynasty and Secret Wars end? Well, apparently, according to our buddy Paul over at Heavy Spoilers, the Kang Dynasty is going to end very similarly to Avengers Infinity War. Much like Thanos won in Avengers Infinity War and the Avengers were defeated at the end, that's pretty much going to happen for the Kang Dynasty. Kang is going to succeed with his plans and conquer many different worlds and many different universes. This will lead to Avengers Secret Wars, where our heroes will have to go throughout the multiverse gathering other heroes to come together and defeat Kang. Something we are all very, very much looking forward to. However, something that fans are very much looking forward to as well are the X-Men. But sadly, it doesn't seem like we're going to be getting a new X-Men team before Secret Wars. Which leads me to my theory today. The post credit scene for Avengers Secret Wars, or the ending, will set up the actual mutant team by hinting at or introducing Professor Xavier. And or Cyclops. Now, there is a lot that has actually come out, either reported by major trade outlets or simply some information given to us by Marvel Studios themselves that point to the X-Men coming after Secret Wars, but Secret Wars being the big setup for them. And before you think that there aren't going to be any X-Men in Secret Wars, don't worry, we'll talk about that and there will be. Just perhaps not what you think. You see, I think I know exactly how the mutants will be introduced in this post credit scene. You see, in Avengers Secret Wars and any other movie that would come before then that would travel the multiverse and explore variants, possibly the Kang Dynasty, and keep in mind, there are two movies scheduled between the Kang Dynasty and Secret Wars, so those two movies could be movies all about exploring the multiverse and gathering an Avengers team. At the very least, they'll introduce us to new characters and variants who could go on to join the big multiversal Avengers team. So in all of these movies where we go to other universes and see other variants, we are going to see X-Men variants. This is already confirmed. And there's a lot of talk about how the old original X-Men are going to be the X-Men team in Secret Wars. And there's a reason for this. According to some reports that have come out, the X-Men are still kind of tied under a contract with Fox. To make things very simple, Marvel Studios can't exactly use any new X-Men characters yet. However, they can use old X-Men characters, anyone from the old Fox universe. This explains why we haven't seen any new X-Men yet, and also while we saw Patrick Stewart still playing Professor Xavier in Multiverse of Madness. Not that anybody is complaining about that. It was amazing to see him return, although I am kind of sick of watching him die. So throughout all of the events that are going to take place in the MCU leading up to Secret Wars and then in Secret Wars, our Avengers team and the people from our main universe are going to come in contact with X-Men and with mutants. And there are even mutants in our universe right now. Namor is confirmed to be a mutant. Miss Marvel, Kamala Khan, she's confirmed to be a mutant as well. Of course, they'll be in Secret Wars, but our main universe won't have an actual X-Men team. It'll just be a bunch of mutants and other X-Men from other universes. But here's where the post credit scene comes in. Our Avengers and our Fantastic Four are clearly going to work with other Fantastic Four members 
and other X-Men members. So after this is all said and done, after they finally defeat Kang, they can't simply go on and ignore the fact that other enhanced individuals, aka mutants, people who were just born with a genetic mutation, exist. Plus, not to mention, Doctor Strange met the Illuminati. He met some of the most powerful characters in the multiverse, although you wouldn't really think that based on how they fought Wanda. But those heroes seemingly don't exist in his own universe. At least he's not aware of that, in which case he needs to explore and find them. The same thing is going to happen after Secret Wars, and I believe the post credit scene is going to be some key Avengers who are going to be sticking around or maybe even saying goodbye talking about how they need to find their universe's variants of the X-Men. So imagine Patrick Stewart's Professor Xavier fighting with our Fantastic Four, with our Avengers team, and all of our other heroes from our universe. Imagine Hugh Jackman's Wolverine. Imagine Cyclops. After Secret Wars, the people in our universe are going to want to find the variants of these amazing heroes. Asking the question, do these people exist in our universe and do they have the same powers? Are they good? Are they evil? There are many different reasons why they should seek out and find these people, either because they can help them or because they could actually be a threat. However, that won't be explored until Phase 7. But we know Marvel Studios. Marvel is going to start with Phase 7 immediately after Phase 6. So the post credit scene is going to be something that is going to set up the mutants. Most likely, somebody mentioning Professor Xavier's school for gifted youngsters. Mentioning Charles Xavier or Cyclops. And here's why I think it'll probably be these two mentioned or hinted at in the post credit scene. Charles Xavier is pretty self-explanatory if you're familiar with who he is. He's the leader of the X-Men. And his name is also in the title of the school, Xavier School for Gifted Youngsters. And he's one of the most powerful mutants of all time. He is a classic and iconic X-Men. Not to mention he studies and has posted papers on mutations. So if you were researching mutants in a universe, his name would definitely pop up. However, there have been some rumors that Cyclops could actually be the leader of the new MCU's X-Men team. Rumor has it that Marvel could go down this path to be original since we've already seen Professor Xavier and his X-Men in the Fox universe. And what's very interesting about this is that some concept art for Miss Marvel that was released after the show came out showed a scene of Avengers Con and it showed Cyclops, or it showed somebody dressed up as Cyclops at least, which means Cyclops exists in the MCU. And what's even more interesting is that this person was dressed up as Cyclops in an X-Men uniform. We can clearly see the X-Men logo here, which would imply that an X-Men team does already indeed exist in the MCU. Otherwise, it wouldn't have the X-Men logo. That is why I believe that Cyclops could actually be the person mentioned in this post credit scene and could actually be the current focus of Marvel for the new mutant saga. And I think this is what is going to start the mutant saga, which I believe is going to be phase seven, phase eight, phase nine, and however many phases they want to include in the mutant saga. And it just kind of makes sense for them to set that up for the future of the MCU at the end of Secret Wars or in the post credit scene. So that is my theory, but let me know what you think about it in the comments down below. Do you think the next saga is the mutant saga? And if so, do you think the ending of Secret Wars is going to set it up? Leave your thoughts down below. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe. Stay up to date on all things relating to the MCU. For live updates, you can follow us on Instagram and Twitter. And as always, thank you all so much for watching. Woof woof.